We last brought you an update on the massive renovation at Symphony Hall in February of last year. Here's what it looked like then. You could sum it up as clearly a space where extensive work was going on. Fast forward to early last month when we spoke exclusively with San Diego Symphony Music Director Maestro Rafael Payare in the hall. The symphony limited us on what we could show. The $125 million project is so immense, so complex, it's understandable they want to keep a lot of it a surprise until it's ready for its big debut. But those video limitations did nothing to dampen our interview with Payare, whose enthusiasm for what will be the symphony's new home is boundless. It's just going to be phenomenal. Several weeks after that interview, the symphony provided new footage of the interior of the Jacobs Music Center as it looks now, work clearly still in progress on restoring the intricate details of what was once the Grand Fox Theater, including all new audience seating. But a lot of what you can't see is what will make the difference in the newly renovated hall. Over the years of this restoration, Symphony CEO Martha Gilmer has become intimately familiar with all of it. The latest technology for sounds, sound, lighting, acoustics, um, the grid room at the top where um, or all these this incredible mechanical engineering takes place so that you can effortlessly see sound panels um, float above the stage or uh, sophisticated lighting um, fixtures. A coral terrace is being added to the back of the stage to accommodate pieces that feature a chorale. And when it's not being used for singers, it will provide very unique seating for the audience. Several rows of seating have been removed from the back of the theater, a change that Payare loves. It's not a small hall, I mean. It, it's still a big, big hall, but now somehow everything feels more connected and there's not the space. Now we're part of this wonderful thing that we could have synergy in between when we're actually doing music, which is very important for us when we're going to be on stage. The hall is flexible. Um, there are draperies hidden behind walls that can be pulled so that a, uh, a, the, an event, a film, spoken word, um, amplified musicians can also be at home on that stage uh, when it needs to be less reverberant. We're able to tune the hall and adjust it in such a way to make it an excellent concert hall for that as well. So what about the delay? Why is the newly renovated hall opening nearly a year after its first announced opening date? It's worth remembering that what now looks like this, a high-rise called Symphony Towers, is built above and around this, the old Fox Theater. When you take on an extensive renovation of a 93-year-old building, there are going to be unexpected challenges. Renovation of an old building is always more challenging than building a new building because you have to deal with the surprises and um, the, the design that reveals itself from the original building um, along the way. And there were certainly um, things that we discovered that then had to we had to be really creative. When it reopens this September, the hall will, for now, be known simply as the Jacobs Music Center. It had been Copley Symphony Hall at the Jacobs Music Center, but the Copley Foundation has agreed to surrender the name, allowing the symphony to offer it to another philanthropist. And while the symphony enjoys broad support from the public, it is major philanthropy that makes the big things possible something that neither Rafael Payare or Martha Gilmer take for granted. It is always inspiring to me to see the passion that they have and the commitment, knowing that they've been fortunate and wanting to share that fortune. We have our wonderful, wonderful benefactors that they have been given out the opportunity to have wings and fly and not to kind of have any kind of limits, but actually it just gave us, leave us to dream and try to achieve higher and higher, higher artistic, uh, artistic standard, which is phenomenal. Or put another way, it will be worth all those millions, all the extra time the process has taken when it is ready to welcome audiences once again. That point was driven home when I asked Payari where the new hall will rank in the great symphony halls of the world. It will be easily a top five. And 
I mean, this is San Diego, come on. This is a beautiful, wonderful city. Now we're going to have this amazing, wonderful hall for, that it deserves the orchestra because the orchestra is already very world class. That we needed to have a wonderful instrument to have and we are achieving it. So I could not be more excited. Combined with the symphony's spectacular outdoor venue, the Rady Shell, there are and will be endless reasons for San Diegans to be excited and proud for generations to come. John Carroll, KPBS News.